it's interesting to me how even smart people will even smart people will like immerse themselves in bad art and they get something from it. Like uh, I long time ago, I knew somebody who's really smart and he was reading that awful book, Infinite Jest, right? Mm. Yeah. You know you you okay? So I know Infinite guy, Jest. What? I know Infinite Jest. I've okay, read it. so this guy, and I'm not talking about the author, but the guy yeah. who's reading the book. He kept talking about all these like really smart concepts, and I told him, "That's you're you're too smart for this book." You know what I mean? It was, yeah. It's it's actually it's really amazing to me because I think that even if there's bad art, I mean, wouldn't you agree that if you're smart, you'll just naturally pick up something because you're a smart? Yes, person? but your your friend your friend is probably imbuing into the book because he's been told that it's a great book by one of his friends, so he has to read it, and he has. He has to justify the investment of time that he made into this piece of shit. I read that book in like seven or eight hours. I went through it like water. Again, it's it's ass wipe. It's absolute. And David Foster Wallace is another one of the long line of frauds. You know, whatever I want to say about Maya Angelou as a bad writer, and she was a bad writer, arguably as bad, maybe worse than Foster Wallace. I'd say Foster Wallace is worse because he's pretentious. But I, I, I would, I'll, I'll grant Maya Angelou was at least sincere in her stupidity and ignorance. David Foster like, Wallace was wasn't. Like, what? I was say like maybe like she made people feel good. I guess. And 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 I, I, I'm sure Maya Angelou probably was a decent human being. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she was a bitch to her children, or if she had children or whatnot. I don't know. But but I, I I'm. Absolutely convinced that the reason someone like David Foster Wallace took his life was not because he was just simply depressed, but he knew deep down he was a fraud. And he knew deep down that no one was going to give a shit about him. And, and when you know that about yourself and you know that you wasted your life, you know, if you're not, if you're not someone who has the wherewithal within yourself, you know, that's going to affect you, I would think. Well, well, I mean, I, I mean, who knows? Maybe he, it was a mixture of things. Maybe he knew he was a hack and he was depressed. And maybe but, he was, and maybe he was just an egotist. Who knows? I, and I don't care. You want to know why? Because I could probably talk to, uh, and I have talked to random strangers. Sometimes when Jessica and I have gone out to a restaurant here in Texas before this COVID shit happened, you know, I'll see some weird old person or what, and I'll, I'll start up a conversation. Jessica will go to the bathroom. She'll come back and I'm talking with some, some old guy and I, I, I find out a little bit of interest and maybe that character ends up in a book of mine, but that character is probably more interesting than David Foster Wallace. So I don't give a shit. I, I've seen David Foster Wallace being interviewed. He wasn't that fucking bright. I'm not saying he was, he was stupid or anything. He had knowledge, but he was utterly, totally devoid of wisdom. There was nothing. There was oh, no, that, part the right. curtain and there's nothing. Not not the same as wisdom. That's that's one of the things that I'm glad you pointed out. Because I met people that know a lot, but they can't. It's like they have no individuality or, or, or thought process. I'm really glad you pointed that out. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, you have with knowledge is just facts. Wisdom is how do I use those facts? How do I use those bits of knowledge? Uh, it 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 is it is the more complex thing. You know, you can have well, again. You can have all the tools. I mean, let let me. Take it away from art, and let's go into something very simple, like sports. One of the reasons that sports connects with a lot of people is you can see, boom, I take a bat and hit a, a ball over a fence 400 feet away. Well, we know that that's a home run. It's easy to see. If I'm in the starting, starting blocks and I'm running the 100-yard or 100-meter dash, you know, I run it in 14 seconds. That's pretty good for a 55-year-old man. But I, you know, I'm five seconds behind the, the elite athletes. Well, that tells me that uh, Dan is not as good a runner as Usain Bolt. But if you're looking at a bad writer like David Foster Wallace, uh, who wrote, um, you know, a six hundred thousand word or five hundred fifty thousand word book like Infinite Jest, and then you read, say, my second book, uh, The Vincetti Brothers, which is about six hundred thousand words. It's, it's going to be harder because you're going to have to think. You're going to have to think. It's easy to discern that the ball went over the fence. If LeBron James shoots a 30-foot jump shot and hits it, we hear it, swish, we see the ball go through. It's easy to discern that that is success. It's much harder to discern why uh, a film about a donkey 
who goes through a miserable life at the hands of human in a film by Robert Bresson 50 plus years ago is a great film because you have to think. And one of the things that I can say is I had a friend who once said, thinking is hard. <laughs> wow. And it's true. People don't want to think. People don't want to, people want everything handed to them. You know, people come home and they say, oh, I've had such a hard day. And I can tell you, they don't have a hard, as hard a day as me. I, li I lift every week about 14 to 15 tons of, of product. I mean, you know, I, I not not that I'm, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I've got a pretty good bicep and I'm a pretty well built for a, a 55 year old man. But none of that matters. Again, no one's going to give a shit. Every, anything that I've done in my life in a job or not in a job uh, has had maybe a couple of weeks import to anyone outside of myself or maybe my wife or a few people who are close to me. But the thing that will matter long, long, long after I'm gone will be the art. Why are you here talking to me? It's because something I wrote 15 years ago, 12 years ago, 8 years ago, uh, or whatnot, has connected with you. And you said something went in your brain and said, oh, I get something like that. I need to know more. I'm thinking and hoping that you are looking to ameliorate yourself. I'm not doing this necessarily for me. I mean, yes, it would be nice. I think you said you're film. It'd be nice if, if you had a filmmaker pal and who wanted to do documentary about, about me. That's the best thing that could happen to me to, to, to get me out of the, the, the online box. But I'm doing it hopefully so that you will have a, a, a better mind and a better life because of the things that I've said. And I, I don't know you, I, you know, for all I know, you could be a serial killer or you could be a tax evader. You could be a pedophile. I'm going to think that you're just a nice young guy who's looking to, to improve his mind. And if I can help that, I will. And that's why I'm talking to you. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It's very important for younger artists to speak with older artists and exchange wisdom. And I really appreciate it.